Among all the transitions in PowerPoint, Morph Transition is my favorite. In today's session, I will be showing you various ways of using the Morph Transition and making your PowerPoint much more fun, engaging, and lively. Did you know you can bring your charts to life in PowerPoint? So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. Hey, my name is Bhumani Kola. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, this channel is all about educational tools, tips, and technology. So if you don't want to miss out on all the fun, please make sure you subscribe. We will be learning about various morphing techniques in this session today. The first morphing technique I would like to talk about is zoom in. So instead of pointing to your slides and explaining what each part of the body is, you can actually zoom in and explain so your students can follow you better. And it's much more engaging than a static slide. Something like this. So to obtain the zoom transition, I copied a picture and pasted it on one of my slides. And I know I want to zoom into the mouth, to the liver, and to the small intestines. So I know I have to zoom three times. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click and I'm going to copy it three times. So I'm going to copy the same slide three times because I know I have to zoom in three times. So once that's done, I'm going to click on the first zoom, which is my second slide. I'm going to reduce the view here. And I'm going to click on the picture and I'm going to drag it or enlarge it until the size that I want it to be enlarged in my class. I think that's good. And on the left hand side here, you can actually see a preview of what your slide is going to look like. That's good enough for me. Now the next one, I want to zoom into the liver. So let me zoom all the way here. Now I'm going to click on the fourth slide here. I want to zoom into the small intestines. I'm going to zoom it all the way up here and I'm going to move it to the side so I can see all the labels as well. Now that's good. Once that's done, I'm going to click on the first slide, press and hold my shift, click on all the slides, click on my transition, and I'm going to make sure I click on morph. Once that's done, let's go ahead and check this out. So go back on the slide, click on slideshow, so here is my first slide. So instead of explaining, I'm going to click. It's going to zoom into the mouth and I'm going to click again. It's going to zoom into the liver. Click again. It's going to zoom into the rest of the part of the body. The second morphing technique I would like to talk about is morph crop. So you can kick it up a notch instead of zooming in. You can actually crop and give this beautiful effect for your slides where students or audience can follow you and have fun at the same time. To demonstrate the morph crop effect, I'm going to be using this colorful ice cream picture here. The first thing I'm going to do is to click on the picture, control C so I can copy it, click on picture format. I'm going to change the color to grayscale, change the transparency to 65%. Once that's done, I'm going to right click and lock the picture in place so I don't move it. Once I locked it, I'm going to click control V and bring back the colorful picture close design ideas, make sure I align it. And once that's done, I'm going to go back to my slide and duplicate it. And I'm going to click on the duplicated slide here, click on picture format and click on crop and click on this little arrow so you can see crop to shape. Here, I'm going to be using an oval shape here. So I'm going to click on the circle slash oval, but this is not the shape that I want. So I'm going to go back and click on crop so it can give me these movable or adjustable corners here. Once I see them, I will drag those adjustable corners so I can get the desired shape that I want. This is what I am looking for. And I'm going to reduce it just a little bit here. That's good enough. And once that's done, I'm going to go back and zoom it just a little bit. That's perfect for me. Now I'm going to go back here and duplicate this picture. I'm going to click on that slide, click on picture format here, click on crop. And here I am going to drag the crop to the next cone here. And I'm going to adjust the crop level. And I'm going to go back to picture format and instead of using an oval shape, I'm going to use a rectangle here and I'm going to click on crop again. I don't want to see anything else other than this blueberry flavor. And I'm going to adjust to the size that I want. That's perfect. I'm going to drag it down just a little bit, expand it. Maybe I'm going to expand it this way. 
and align it. Perfect. Now I'm going to go back and duplicate this one one last time and click on it. Picture format, crop, crop to shape. And here I'm going to change it to an oval shape here. And what I'm going to do is go back on picture, click on crop again, and I'm going to move my crop to the strawberry flavor here. And I think, yeah, I'm just going to move it just a little bit to the top here. That's good enough. I think I like that. And I am going to slightly turn it so it can align and I'm going to expand it and move it. There you go. And I think three are good enough for demonstration purposes. I'm actually alternating between the shapes so you can see those transitions. Once I am done and happy with what I want, I'm going to click on the slide, press and hold the shift button and select all of them. Click on transition and I'm going to make sure I have a morph transition. Now let's go ahead and see the magic. That's my first slide. I click and it kind of highlights or focuses the first flavor which is the cherry flavor i click again and it morphs and focuses the blueberry flavor i click again and it's kind of focusing the strawberry flavor so this kind of gives you a cool effect you can actually zoom in and when you blur the background your audience or your students can actually focus on what you're trying to teach or talk to them about the third morphing technique is bringing your characters to life by using morph transition and character effect. Imagine teaching a math class with all these boring charts, but what if you can bring these charts to life and make the characters dance? Something like this. Now let's go ahead and take a look at morph transition with effect options and bringing a characters and shapes to life. So this is a quick slide that I made using shapes in powerpoint again don't quote me on the prizes is a prizes for houses in texas so multi-family house in 2011 and the prizes right now so if i don't have any transitions this is how the slideshow is going to look so first slide and then the second slide boring isn't it now let's go ahead click on the first slide press and hold the shift button click all the slides click on transition and click on morph and now let's go ahead and play this. So when I play this, this is my first slide and this is my second slide. As you can see, the charts are actually moving, depicting the increase or the decrease, but the characters remain the same. Now let's go back to the slide, click on transition, click on effect options, and here I'm gonna select characters. And now let's go ahead and play this. 2011 when I click as you can see the charts and the characters the numbers kind of jump around and bounce around and making your slide more interactive so let's go back here as you can see the numbers are jumping around and this kind of catches the attention of the audience and makes it fun for them and they can clearly see that the prizes are increasing since 2011. YouTube tells me that 90% of my viewers are not subscribing to my channel. Leave a comment in the comment section below. Let me know how can I improve and win your subscription. Now let's go ahead and kick it up a notch with the morph transition and carousel effect where things kind of move across your slide or your presentation like a carousel where they can catch your audience or your students attention. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the morph transition with the carousel effect. What I'm going to do is I'm going to minimize my slide. I'm going to zoom out so I can see the slide better. I'm going to select all my pictures. I'm going to move them away because I slowly want them to transition into the slide here. And I am going to position them right next to one another. I'm going to select all of these, click on home, click on arrange and I'm going to make sure it's aligned to the slide and I want to align them in the middle. Now you can see they're all aligned in between and it's also very helpful when I can see the grid lines. There you go. Once this is done, I'm going to copy this. Uh, let me see one, two, three, four. I'm going to do it four times. So one, two, three and four. So for the first slide, I want the first picture to come in and pop up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this right here in the middle. Yeah, I think that's perfect. 
and then I'm going to move the next picture and I'm going to make sure it touches the edges touch the edge of the slide now once I have that as a scale I'm going to go back to the next picture here I'm going to move this one all the way so it touches the other end of the slide and the next picture is in between you'll understand why I'm doing this in a minute and the next picture comes here and touches the slide again same thing follows the first picture moves out of the slide the next picture follows and then the eye and then the next picture and same thing again move this out move this out it doesn't matter where they are here it is the next one is in between and here I'm going to go back and adjust each of these slides. I'm going to select these two and I'm going to click on home. Make sure they are aligned in the middle. There you go. Once that's done, I'm going to click on this picture, picture format. I want to zoom in, but I want to make sure it zooms to 5.24 and click enter and go back to home here. Make sure it's aligned in, in the middle and also in the center there you go once that's done i'm going to make sure this is in the middle very good i'm going to go back to the next slide here so this is the perfect size now i want this one to zoom in so i'm going to go back to click on the picture picture format here i know the size was 5.24 you want to make sure you're consistent throughout your slides click on home click on arrange click on align center and click on align middle and select all your slides click on home arrange and make sure they aligned in the middle there you go now let's go back to the next slide here again click on the middle picture because you want that to be zoomed out to 5.24 click enter i'm going to select all of these home arrange align i want them to be in middle and then i'm going to click on the picture here that's zoomed in click on home again align and i want to make sure it's aligned in middle and in the center that way when i zoom in you can actually see it in a perfect alignment 5.24 is what we looked at click enter but you can pick any size that you wanted to zoom in but this is the size i have picked and i want it to be consistent so now you see the grid lines help me to make sure my pictures are aligned so click on home again select everything i want them to align in middle and the middle picture has to be aligned in the middle and in the center okay now that's done let me go back and take off the grid lines here so the first picture comes in then the second then the third then the fourth very good everything seems to be aligned now once that's done let me make sure this is aligned to one last time so arrange align center yep it is aligned now i'm going to click on the first slide press and hold shift one two three four making so making sure i select all the slides click on transitions and click on morph and now let's go ahead and play this magic so the first slide there you go the first picture pops up you can talk about it now it moves away the second one pops up audience can actually know what's coming next and what we are talking about and what was the previous one and then the next one and then the next one and that's it the next transition we'll be talking about is morph and pop up we will still be using the morph transition but instead of a carousel effect they will actually pop up you can talk about it and they go back into the place move on to the next slide pop up talk about it and go back to their place now let's go ahead and take a look at morph pop-up. I'm using the same pictures as a previous demonstration, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to select all of these and I'm going to slightly bring them down this way. That's good enough. And I want the first picture to pop up in the first transition, then the second, then the third, and then the fourth. So I'm going to duplicate this once, duplicate this twice, duplicate this three times, duplicate it four times. Once that's done, I'm going to click on the second slide. I want the first picture to pop up. There you go. And the second picture. There you go. And the third. There you go, right here. And then the fourth picture right here. 
and I'm going to go back to the second slide, click on the picture, picture format. I think I want this to be size four, click enter. That's good enough. Click on home and I'm going to make sure I align this to the center and align this to the middle. Actually, I'm just going to pull it up just a little bit right here. And I'm going to use my handy dandy um, grid lines. So I know where exactly I'm placing my picture. So it's going to be right here. That's good. Now the second picture, picture format, I know it was size four. So I'm going to click and change the size to four. Click enter. And I know it was right here. That's good. Third picture again, picture format, change the size to four, click enter and move it to right here. That's where it was. There you go. And you can actually see the preview of where your pictures are zooming in. Picture format, size is again four, click enter, drag it to right here. And I'm going to go back, click the first one, press and hold shift, one, two, three, four, making sure, making sure I select, I can't talk today, making sure I select all of these slides, click on transition, click on morph, apply all, and now let's go ahead and see the magic. The first slide, enter, pops up goes back the second one pops up as you can see you can your audience or students can focus only on what you're talking about and this does not look boring at all now what if you do not want to use any of these and you want to make your morph transition as simple as possible but still able to explain so let's go ahead and check out the next one which is morph using a pointer so all the pointer does is slowly moves from one object to the other giving you that morphing effect where you can explain and students can focus on what you're talking about now let's take a look at the morph transition using a pointer. Let's just say you do not want to do any of those transitions, but you simply want to move the pointer from one slide to the other. You can do that by simply duplicating here. I am going to duplicate it once, duplicate it twice, duplicate it three times. So the whole idea is for the pointer to move from the first picture to the second, to the third, to the fourth. So I'm going to click on the second one and bring my pointer to the second picture. Click on the third slide, bring my pointer to the third picture. Click on the fourth slide, bring my pointer to the fourth picture. Once that's done, I'm going to click, press and hold the shift button. One, two, three, making sure I select everything. Click on transition, click on morph, click on apply. And now let's go ahead and take a look. First transition, first picture. The pointer moves to the second picture, talk about it, move to the third picture, talk about it, and then moves to the fourth picture. I hope you enjoyed this session. I hope you learned various morphing techniques using the morph transition in PowerPoint. If you did, please make sure you like and subscribe. If you think it's worth sharing, please go ahead and do so because you and me both know that they are educators and presenters who are always willing to make their PowerPoints much more fun and engaging. I will leave a link in the description box below for Microsoft Teams, PowerPoint and technology playlist and Canvas as well. Don't forget to check it out. Leave a comment in the comment section below. What is your favorite morphing transition and how do you use them in your classes or in your presentations. Like always, happy teaching and please take care of yourself.